Induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPSCs, are all the rage in research nowadays. And if you don't know what I'm talking about and this all sounds like gibberish, you might want to go watch this video over here that explains what stem cells are and goes through all the different types. Go on, go, go click on it. For years, researchers have been imagining the potential of stem cells to repair damage to our body and to help us recover from previously incurable disease. So now that we know how to produce iPSCs in the lab, how are stem cells actually being used? While many stem cell treatments are still in very early experimental stages, some are already being used, like the transfer of blood stem cells to treat leukemia. You may have also heard of patients in Japan who received a transplant of eye stem cells to help improve macular degeneration, a disease that can lead to blindness. Exciting stem cell research is also happening in basic science research labs all across the world. In San Francisco, for example, scientists were recently able to test a drug for heart disease on human cells in a petri dish. They transformed iPSCs into heart cells to create structures that beat like the human heart. These tests helped the researchers learn that their drug could effectively treat heart disease in humans before actually having to test it in humans. Researchers are also using stem cells to better understand how diseases work. They can take skin cells from patients with diseases like diabetes or liver failure and transform those samples into stem cells to help them study their properties. This has led to some important advances in understanding how diseases behave in the human body, allowing scientists to come up with new and more effective treatments. And one of the most exciting applications for stem cells is personalized medicine. By taking a biopsy from a patient and reproducing their disease in the lab, scientists can see how the disease in that particular patient is different from someone else's. They can even test drugs directly on that patient's cells to analyze how that patient might respond. This can really help them treat that particular patient more effectively. Researchers are still working towards therapies that could use stem cells to help repair damage from an injury or a disease like spinal cord injuries, heart failure, or even Alzheimer's. But in the meantime, stem cells have been transforming the way we perform medicine, understand diseases, and create treatments. There's still so much more potential, but we've come pretty far already. If you have any questions about stem cells or about any recent breakthroughs, go ahead and leave a comment down below, or you can visit the links in the description box for more information. Go ahead and watch that other video over here for some background info, and thanks for sticking around to the end of this one. Click that subscribe button down at the bottom, and see you next time for another Dose of Science.